Hi, I'm Aaron Borrell, Motoring Editor of GQ Magazine. Have you ever wondered why South Africa doesn't build its own car? I mean, we have all the facilities. We're building cars for all the markets around the world, Japan and Europe, so why don't we build our own car? Well, if truth be told, we have. And it's called the Jewel, and it's built by the Cape Town firm Optimal Energy. It's still a prototype model, but it's operational now, and I'm going to be driving it around. Back in 2008 at the Paris International Motor Show, the Jewel was launched to great success. And three years on, this is what we have, a fantastic car and is able to move. It was designed by Keith Helfert, ex-Jag supercar designer. And just keeping with the South African theme, making the car proudly South African. We started the car up. What's pretty nice is that we got this digital cluster, which is very sci-fi like. And the sound with the motor starting almost sounds like a proton pack of a Ghostbuster. On the left, we have the kilowatt power cluster. On the right, we got something measuring the battery. And normal, like your normal instrument cluster, you got your speeder, which kind of looks like it will move in an analog way, but still digital. And we got a little sign at the bottom telling us what gear we're in. Well, not what gear, neutral, drive or reverse, and a trip counter and a range. Inside the car, we have parts that might look like it's been borrowed from other pieces of other cars, but this is a prototype. The finished product is going to have a much more minimalistic feel and obviously more original. But inside, it's enough to seat five adults. There's a lot of room in the front and the back, and the boot can also hold 700 liters of space. Well, let's take this thing for a drive. I'm going to engage drive. Lift up on the brake. And we're off. Quite disconcerting is that you don't hear anything. Everything is just silent. So as opposed to an eternal combustion engine, we're hearing that nice sound of the engine, we're hearing a bit of silence. But I'm sure you can get used to it quite quickly. Other things though, obviously are gonna start being more noticeable, like your road noise and your wind noise. But just hearing those sounds just I can get used to it. I think it's really cool. It's powered by a 36 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery that weighs about 300 kilograms and it can be charged at your normal plug point. Charging is set to be able to take place in about eight hours which is fine because if you're going to be using this car around the city you're just going to charge it overnight. Also quite strange is the regenerative braking whereas before you'd use your foot quite literally to press the brake pedal. Taking your foot off the accelerator, the car starts braking by itself, thereby charging the battery. Power set at 70 kilowatts and 254 newton meters, with 45 kilowatts being accessible all the time. And that means that the car is pretty sprightly from robot to robot. We're looking at the car being able to accelerate to 60 kilometers per hour in under five seconds. So you're sure to give a couple of sport coupes a fright. The top speed is set at 135 kilometers per hour, but obviously if you're going to be driving at that speed all the time, the range is going to suffer. The range of the battery is about 300 kilometers, depending on your driving style. And that, that means that it's even better than the Nissan Leaf, which, whose range is set at about 160 kilometers. The build quality is really, really impressive. The, the driving is great and you get a bit of feedback through the steering wheel as well and that, that's what you want from a car. You want to know you're still driving the car and I think, I think that's what's going to make it a success. Pricing is set to start at about 245,000 Rand to about 285,000 Rand and I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be affordable for most people to drive and buy. Would I buy it? Would I drive it? Definitely. I think it's a fantastic car. I've had a lot of fun driving it. And uh, I can't wait to see this thing on the roads in 2015.